Hey there, this is Corey the Yard Buddha, and today I'd like to do an unboxing and a little review on the Scots Elite Spreader, which I have been using the Scots Speedy Green 1000 here for probably like the last 10, 15 years, and it served me fine. It's it's done okay, but it does not have any edge guard. And just kind of has this one hole that you do have to stick your hand down in there every now and then and do. But I am going through a grass renovation project right now. I'm going to put down some turf type tall fescue and some starter fertilizer. And then I also have been helping out some clients in their yards that are a lot bigger than mine as well. I only have like four or five thousand square feet so this Scott Speedy Green has been okay but you can see how much more capacity this has almost twice as much as the Speedy Green. It also has four holes down there and two different kind of distributors which I'll turn it around and show you. Um, this is how it came in the box. I haven't done anything to it yet. I just flopped it out of the box. And all it comes with is two wheels. And then two hubcaps. Two cotter pins. And two uh, bearings there. And so all you need to do is slap the wheel on the side here. You put the uh, the wheel on, you put on the bearing, and then you stick the cotter pin right there through the hole and you bend it around to secure the wheel, and that's it. Those are all the parts that come in the box. And I think I bought this for 75 bucks off Amazon. I mean, I think they're selling these for 40 or 50 dollars now too so I mean there's no reason to not go with with the bigger one this is the different in wheel size so this has some air in it it's it's fairly solid but it's probably at least two inches more in diameter um, so this is the armrest here they even give you some fancy cushioned uh, padding here on the arms and then there's just the uh, edge guard here turning on turning off and then the, the trigger and I'm not sure what the lock does here yet but we'll figure that out it's got your normal dial gauge for selecting what product you want but then these are the agitators inside that spin around and drop through those four holes so here's the other side so it has two of the distributors that orange thing in the back there is the edge guard that's going to protect your right side which is going to be nice when i'm doing my seed and my fertilizer to just kind of keep everything in that same area so I'm gonna put this all together I'll show you what it looks like real quick and then I will do some seeding and fertilizing and give you my opinion on it all right here it is fully assembled less than five minutes just slide that wheel on and uh, Put the washer on, sorry I was calling it the bearing earlier. Put the cotter pin in, bend it around, and shove the hubcap on. So I left the hubcap on that one, this one. I'm going to show you how I bent the cotter pin around there. You don't even need pliers or anything, I just bent it with my hand. Just kind of put it right up against the washer and you bend it. And then this lock button I figured out is for when you're pushing it around and you don't want anything to come out those holes will stay shut and locked once you grab this and open it up the lock goes back down so that's good if you're traveling from 
one location to another and don't want any, any spillage but you can kind of see those added shaders working right now so, all right we'll let you know how this works okay so i just put down 18 pounds of turf type tall fescue with the spreader and it worked like butter it is a boss so much better than my older one with the bigger thicker softer wheels i use the edge guard around the sides here i'm sorry my yard is not looking great i had a whole bunch of poa that i ripped out and now i'm gonna try to out compete it with this stuff but you can see got great seed coverage all throughout everywhere and with the four different openings and the two different distributors down in there this probably took me like two minutes whereas the other one with one hole would have taken me like 20 so so far it's awesome I would definitely highly recommend it. Thanks for watching. See you later.